you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you yourselves, if you have yourself circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy, mercy come, come to me, O Lord. Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk in liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. Do not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You see in St. Paul's letter, as well as in the Gospel, the danger of only following the external observance. You see in the Gospel today, how Jesus, he visits the Pharisee. The Pharisee notices that he's not doing what the ritual law says he ought to be doing. He's not washing his hands. But the Lord points out that the more central thing, not just the external observance, is the matter of the heart. And he points to that, and we see what is his prescription. His prescription then is to give alms. And so... The mere external observance is not enough to purify the heart. We spoke about this on Sunday a bit, about how it's not enough merely to go through the external motions, but the Lord cares about 
where our heart is at. Are we following him? Are we with him? Does our heart turn towards him? And we see that what becomes primary then is that act of love. Are we following the Lord just in the external practices? We're showing up at the right place at the right time. But are we also following him with our hearts? And there we see what is the test the Lord gives of giving alms. And he says that, that if you do that, then all things become clean. If you act out of love to love your neighbor, if you follow him with those internal acts, which help to change our hearts, then that is what we're called to as Christians. And we see St. Paul is also fighting that battle. Here we have the Jewish people at this time. They're still trying to kind of hedge their bets. So I'll follow Christ, but just in case, I'm also going to be circumcised. And with following the law, what St. Paul is trying to warn the Christian community against is that we're not saved by that merely external, look at what I'm doing. Look at my case that I can make for myself. I've done all the right things. I've checked all the right boxes. I've been circumcised. I've followed the rules. But what he's trying to point out more and more is that we're saved by Christ. We're saved by the Holy Spirit. He's the one who makes us holy, not ourselves. But in that, we see requires that giving of our hearts, conforming our hearts more and more to him. And so it matters less those external things and more and more those internal acts. And so we're going to ask ourselves today, even as we go through what we know to be good Christian acts, when we pray our rosary, when we show up to Mass to pray, these are good things. These are things that help us to grow in our love for Christ. They help us to live out the Christian life. We can fall into that trap sometimes of just justifying ourselves on, well, I was here. I checked off the box. But Christ calls us to something deeper. He calls us to become more and more like him. And so whether it's giving alms, praying with our whole heart for those intentions that we have, acts of service, whatever the case may be, making sure we're following him not just in where we are, but also in our hearts so that our whole person can become a follower of Christ. We can become more and more disciples whose hearts are modeled after his own heart. And as we approach the Eucharist today, we give thanks for that gift of himself, where he pours out himself entirely for us. We ask that we might make that same act ourselves, become more and more a total gift both to God and then to others in our life. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, we bring our prayers before the Lord. For Pope Francis, as he continues to lead the church, may God look graciously upon his every need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local and national leaders, may Christ show them the way of authentic servant leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who struggle to provide for themselves and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community gathered here today, May Christ's peace reside in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, may God's light shine upon them as they enter his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessings for President Trump and the American people, and for Jeffrey Leona, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayers, and in your grace, answer them according to your will. We ask through your Son. Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, and the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful, the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him we have been pleased, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. Let's wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. Rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. those joining us on the live stream or spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.